It doesn't happen very often. Trust me, I've been in this 22 years now, and that doesn't happen very often, and the chances of him making the team are even slimmer. But if he does, it'll be one of the greatest stories of all time. Alonzo Highsmith. Good evening. Well, I could really shorten that intro, and you're probably going to hear some uh, odd, like someone's taking a leak or something. Uh, that's my aquarium, my new aquarium, um, where I put my um, shiners, my minnows, and I picked up some um, uh, crawfish. So there you go. My kids love feeding them and watching them and um i use them unfortunately for bait when i go fishing um <clears throat> but you know they get fed clean water they don't really have to fear for a big fish eating them except for when a big hand comes after them um anyways uh greatest probably one of the greatest stories of all time of course it seems to usually end in tragedy these days but you know it's not really the destination it's really about the journey. And once your journey's over, once you realize that the whole purpose was the journey, uh, life throws you a curveball. <clears throat> it's not necessary life. It's just, uh, I guess the story takes a turn, right? Okay. Um, so what am I talking about? I'll bet you barely anybody knows about this right now. They will. It's probably going to be really big especially once the nfl season starts when, when am i talking about all right so um where do i start okay i'll be there we go um what you should probably do is go to flemlo raps he's um i just subscribed to him really but it was a well done video uh this was on July 21st, 2019. Link is in the description box. You can go and watch it. It's 14 and a half minutes long. Worth it. There's uh, various, you could just do searches either on um, on DuckDuckGo or Google News and you'll, and you'll see a lot about it. Uh, there's even an article uh, that was done by um, uh, the ClevelandBrowns.com. Um, and uh, that tells you the story. This is way back in April 11, 2019. And uh, what's what's crazy about it is, uh, let me uh, show myself. All right. <laughs> yeah, this fella who didn't go any, you know, he didn't really have anything going. Uh, he had talent. He could run fast. It reminds me of like, there's probably going to be stories of, him being very similar to uh forrest gump uh forrest gump <clears throat> was fiction but yeah uh he just was amazing at running and played football and he was amazing at and he, and he did well and you know that took him places uh so you'll probably see that once he does his first kick return or put return and uh, he shares a very similar story, not quite yet, but a similar journey, I would say, as uh, Jeremy Lin. And if you're following Jer Jeremy Lin right now, well, his incredible journey is at a struggling point, right? So um, before we get on to Damon Shihigazepi, if that's how you say his name, uh, Jer Jeremy Lin had an incredible story because, right, he play only played for uh, basketball at harvard university tried to get into the nba didn't you know it didn't take him a while you know he's has to go through some struggles asian american you know that you don't see any asians really playing at the nba level unless you're over six nine anyways uh yeah he's a free agent now after the lynn sandy moment where he was a backup of a backup, and he, he finally got to play as a starter. 
And he did had incredible six or seven games, which has been unmatched in history. And, you know, his life took a good turn and he got uh, traded to some good teams. Uh, well, he got paid a lot, uh, but he didn't get a lot of um, playing time. And, all, you know, things took a turn for the worse and kept getting worse. And even though he won... The, all right, so Jeremy Lin, even though he he was sleeping in in a, another teammate's uh, apartment, right? Because he didn't have a place to stay. Or when he got to an NBA, like his second or third NBA team, he, all that happened. He got like a, a lot of millions of dollars, right? And then, and um got to play on a lot of teams and he just won an NBA championship with the Toronto Raptors and he's miserable right now okay but all he has to do is reflect on just the journey of how he got there and um so yeah all that fame all the all the um money all the um uh, Hey, just your accreditations, I guess. Like, I've got an NBA ring. Doesn't make him happy at all. So, something to look out for with Damon Sheehy Giuseppe, who, through his struggle, I mean, this guy, um, if you if you go ahead and watch or read a story about him, I mean, uh, he knew he had talent that he could run fast, and he wanted to... Uh, just, I guess, not waste that talent. And um, so he goes, hey, um, I've got ideas. What will happen? I'll, I'll play basketball and, you know, all this. I'll work my way up and get there. And, um, well, he could even get his foot in through the door at, like, the lowest level. <laughs> and, but he kept going. He go, okay, let, let's try football this time. We go through the same same stride. Uh and well, that didn't work out either. And what ended up happening is he he wasn't invited um, to join the team in training camp, but he went anyway. And this is just for uh, college. And um, he went, and he just worked his ass off. And finally, uh, what happened was, I mean, <laughs> one of the coaches said hey you know what one extra spot let's let's see what you got and and um because he just he, he they knew he wasn't i mean i'm pretty sure that there's some people talking that they knew he wasn't on the team but he was just there anyway and uh the coaches were impressed that is just uh billy to to keep going and um said all right let's try it so he got invited on to practice and he was able to run fast. They go, hey, what about going on uh, kick returns, punt returns? And so they go, okay, sure. And he ended up breaking all the records, okay? But, of course, this is just very low-level college and uh, college-level team. And um, he goes, okay, this should be good. This should be able to – I should be able to get up to the next step. So he goes up to the next step, and he gets denied. Uh, he goes to keep us going. Okay, um, let's try this. Let's try that. Yeah, he just keeps getting cut, not invited, no calls back, whatever. Uh, so he he just keeps going, <laughs> right? Uh, he, he keeps uh, he, there's so there's like an invite uh, that no one's supposed to know about in Florida or something. And this he like maxes out. He gets a credit card, maxes it out. <laughs> He's probably. Um, was in debt you know his mother's supporting him and he goes down and to the training invitation training camp in in uh florida but they go okay um he gets there well his and um the, the thing is he was told just hey look up um um what well, alonzo highsmith and he goes okay so he does and um he kind of fakes slash lies his way in and same thing happens is um they go well uh well 
you just gotta read it you gotta watch it anyways he he ends up making the training camp and he's sleeping on uh outside um in his sleeping bag he doesn't have enough room he had to wait like a week before he got to figured out a way to get to cleveland and and um made it through and the, you know he impressed the uh the coaches um and so he got to stay in in um practice and see if he could make the squad well he did he made the squad and uh so he's the uh, third string wide receiver so he's probably just gonna run uh putt return and, and kickoff returns until he probably learns how to play football um plays and stuff he'll probably get a few chances and i think he's just there's gonna be a lot of hype uh so look uh he signed a three-year contract with Cleveland Browns on April fifth, twenty nineteen, with one point seven five five million. Uh, none of that is guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure he's just—he doesn't really care about that right now. He's just gonna work his his ass off. But I mean, just sheer determination, of will, and um, not quitting. And uh, I mean, <laughs> just look, uh, just yeah, it's it's just uh, it's amazing. I think it's. It's um, um, it's gonna it's gonna be a pretty big story, I think. I mean, it's a great story, that's for sure. Um, and the problem with it's not really a problem. I think it's just gonna be um, what his. What his uh, reflections are? What's what's his goal? I mean, it, it was to do what he set out to do, and um, uh, whatever it took, pretty much, it was it was the thing. Um, you know, short short of 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 huge scandals. You know, it's just did everything he could to just um, showcase what he had, see if anyone was willing to take it. And this, this, he, he impressed the Cleveland Browns by running like a 40 and 4.38 seconds, which is pretty fast. And they just gave him a chance and he took that chance. He ran with it and, you know, he, uh, it's success story right now. Um, it, it'll be interesting to see, uh, his first NBA or NFL, sorry, not NBA. NFL kickoff return, even though I haven't watched a football game in years. Um, yeah, is that right? No, maybe a year. Um, it's uh, It'll be interesting to see what else the world is going to be throwing him. Not just the football, but um, a lot of different things and how he handles that. And, and I think... Uh, as long as his mentality is there, he'll handle it well. I think it's it's the story is pretty much the same for everyone, in some sense. It's this it's the world testing you to see what you've got, and um, how easy you fold, or how easy you keep going. Um, when the odds are stacked against you and you keep going, you know, it's just seeing how much more it could push you until you either give up um or you pretty much uh excel and it's not just a one-time thing it's just constant it's just always at at you coming at you and um uh, that's when uh amazing things happen i mean um making um a, being famous making a lot of money uh, getting these credentials and all the stuff that's that's not the amazing part <laughs> it's not the, that destination isn't the amazing amazing part because it's that wasn't if that's the goal uh, there's really nothing amazing about it it's how that was obtained and then the more amazing thing about it is what happens when you when that's no longer there is there a journey left 
or are you just tapped out? And um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, these stories are, are always great. Uh, it's, it's fun to see. And then uh, it always turns to a depressing uh, result. But people rise above it. The, the thing that a lot of people don't see and the stories that don't get told is the, the aftermath of the story. Um, there's a lot of people who had very similar struggles and, uh, their story never even got told. Um, eventually those stories get told and people just go, wow, that's great. Now what happens to them? You know, they're just living, um, most of the time they're actually living pretty good. They're going, yeah, it's, uh, I know my place in life. I, you know, I had my, what was it? 15 minutes of fame and I enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was a good 15 minutes, but you know, there's much more to, to life than just 15 minutes. And, um, uh, if I could go through that, heck, anything I'm, I want to focus my attention on right now. Um, anything is possible. At least it feels like anything is possible. And um, even if it's not possible, it's the attempt uh, to make the impossible possible um, an incredible thing. And so, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, uh, I, I, I have an idea that it's going to be a very similar situation to Jeremy Lin's situation in a couple of years and in a couple of years, what's Jeremy Lin's situation going to be? He's probably going to reflect on it and go, okay, well, he's going to be more grounded and grounded is a very interesting word uh, to use in multiple ways because when you're in trouble, you're grounded, but also if you want to uh, make sure that you don't just fly off and, and think everybody else is below you. Well, you know, typically you have, friends and family that keep you grounded, right? They, they say, keep your head on your shoulders, stay grounded, and uh, you'll be okay. So uh, maybe we'll talk about that some other time. Anyways, I just wanted to share the story. Um, if you haven't heard about it, it's a, it's, it's a good story. Good story for now. <laughs> it'll probably get a little bit better, and then it'll get bad, and then... You're going to go, hey, whatever happened to that guy? You know, remember that one guy? Um, but really, does, does it matter to know what happened to this person? Um, what matters is that person. What that person matters to uh, himself and those that he cares about. Because there's going to be some... Tr if that was a struggle, that was a personal struggle. Uh, and there's going to be struggles not just for his personal struggles now it's going to be struggles with um the relationships he has and that's going to be another test to throw throw at his way um so it, it's it's something that's relatable to a lot of people it's just if you got the personal struggles you can rise above that and then there's these uh relationship struggles it's like okay i got through the personal stuff i could i can handle my own self now it's like all right how do i handle these these relationships where i don't have any control over the relationship i got i, I seem to have control over myself but the relationship's no no, no longer there and so uh, there's that that part, but then uh, you'll figure that part out too. And then after that part's done, is what's left? What is left? There's a lot. There's a lot left. But um, it's 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 like it is like going to distance. It's to see how long you keep going until. Uh, life pretty much at least it appears to life appears to 
uh, suck you dry until you have nothing left. And then do you just wither away or do you just say, you know what? Nah, that's not going to happen. And you just keep pushing and that's where uh, amazing happens. So not the destination journey. The journey is incredible. And uh, don't, don't forget that. Don't neglect that. The destination it's uh it's not really what you what what it turns out to be when you plan for it it's it's just you'll get there by just focusing on on now and that is a good good motivation is don't be motivated to do it later if you are, if you are motivated you do it now <laughs> um you can plan for it, prepare yourself for it, but you just have to start doing it now. And I think that is also one of my personal problems is I've always procrastinated. It's just what I did. I've got time to do it later. And of course, I did have time to do it later, but usually when it was um, too close to call <laughs> where I didn't need to wait for it, I could just done it then. Um, and those things are some of the struggles you will face, whatever it is. And, uh, focus on the now. That's, that's something good. Focus on the now. All right. Um, keep your, uh, just, just look into the story of Damon Shahi Giuseppe. There's more story to be told and it's going to be exciting, depressing, happy, funny, sad, and uh life keeps going there's a lot of people in this world all right uh, see you all later